What I mostly remember is going to friends' houses who had all the toys. I was allowed Sylvanian families. I was really into Star Wars. Obviously Disney. Had loads of Disney dolls. I played with dolls a lot. When I was very young, I had a, a rabbit who I was very attached to. My son really likes Toy Story. He's got Buzz Lightyear and Jesse. And he's very tattered and broken, but I couldn't bear to get rid of him. Hornby wind-up train sets, early dinky cars and things of that nature. I did have an Ewok, uh, for a Star Wars Ewok, and I completely and utterly loved it. We used to have lots of cartoons on television, and one of them was called Popeye. Popeye was a sailor, he had a tattoo on his arm. I have some like really vivid memories of playing with my toys. It's really exciting. It makes me feel quite old that something that I used to play with as a child has now got the status that it could be put into a museum exhibition. Uh, I think my favourite part of the collection upstairs is uh, definitely the, the giant gremlin. I really like the Beetlejuice stuff. I wish that I had had those toys. The Star Wars bit, because those are the toys I really coveted. Also, I mean, I've never really been into Felix the Cat, but I really liked those. When I saw there was a James Bond exhibition, I sort of was really interested in it. Disney princesses, because I can sort of remember having a lot of those dolls, especially Beauty and the Beast. I loved Beauty. I loved the, the old Disney Mickey Mouses and um, Donald Ducks and things. That, that was fun. The whole exhibition takes you through from the very early days of cinema uh, right up to the present day, and so Every generation will be able to go into the exhibition and see something that makes them feel nostalgic for their childhood.